In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to make your own very own custom blocks in Minecraft using the mod's inner core. So let's jump into the video right now. Alright guys, welcome back to Pocket Coder. This app is made by me, Han Programmer. Now, this app is free on Google Play Store, you can search for it and download it there. But just to make you guys know that I'm not the one who is uploading there. So, if you want to find out about the newest version and everything, be sure to join my Discord server, links in the description. And of course, uh, the zip file of this mod will be down in the description as well. So let's create a new pack. I'm gonna create a new one. Let's call this uh, more blocks because I already got a mod called custom blocks. So here it is, more blocks, and then type in create. It should open right in. But as you can see, there's a bug that there's. This is a wrong folder. All you have to do is go to home and back into the more block mod. All right, now we have already created a simple mod with nothing inside. If we open up the file manager, we can go into dev and there's a main.js and first you can open launcher.js, it's still the same. Open up mod.info, this is the important one. You have to change every single thing in here into your own desire. So for example, I'm gonna create a custom block and description I'm just gonna keep the same and the author is still on the safe. And I'm gonna open up this file manager Go back to dev and open up main.js now here's where the fun part begins first thing first i'm going to create a simple comment this is a code that is not going to be run by the inner core it's just there to help me keep notes so created by hand programmer you don't have to do this but this is making the script a little bit cooler for me but yeah so let's firstly create the item ID for your block. The way we do it is just like creating an item in the previous episode. We're just going to type in ID registry dot gen block ID. As the previous version, we are using a different naming. And then we're gonna put in the parameter of this thing. So the first one should be uh, your ID. I'm gonna name this block the same as the example mod. I'm gonna name this lucky block. This is the ID we are gonna be using for the rest of this mod. Now we're gonna create the block. Right, so the next step is we're gonna create a block by typing block dot create block. Make sure you follow the small and big letters like the capital and the non-capital the first one is gonna be the ID I'm gonna call it lucky block and then the next one is the options that we're gonna be making so that's gonna be inside a list this is defined using the square brackets alright so this is the list of the parameters and then the first one is gonna be a dictionary a dictionary basically contains a key and a value and the next parameter is going to be string so let's fill in our dictionary first one is the name of our block we're going to name our block lucky block so this is what will show in game and then we're going to put textures actually without s gonna put this is also a list why this is a list is because you can define multiple texture on multiple sides of your blocks. So if for example you want to use multiple texture then you're gonna put lucky block and then comma and then zero 
and then you can put another like for example like third comma zero like that and you're gonna do is divide them by another list so it's like this like this you get the idea you just make another square bracket square brackets and then you can fill in with the texture now I'm gonna just leave it with one texture so every other sides of the block will remain the same texture alright now let's put an uh, enters everywhere so it's a little bit more cleaner to read and there you go I'm gonna make another parameter inside this dictionary we're gonna call this one in creative you have to follow the namings of this in order for it to show in the creative mode see all right now the rest the last parameter is the block type now we have to define our own custom block type I'm gonna call my block type uh, basic basic custom I'm gonna call it basic custom I'm gonna save our project file so we have to define our block type so we're gonna define it here define block type so in order to define it we're gonna go for block dot create special block type actually without block so it's like this and in the first parameter of this is the options of course and then the second one is the block type name we have already named our block type into basic custom so I'm gonna just put it here and in the options this is where it begins I'm gonna just paste in the all the options available you can see you can pause the video you can edit every single piece of this but yeah just edit where you know what it's gonna be I honestly don't know what are, are all of this yet you can find it on the block launcher for the render layer for the explosion resistance but yeah light opacity I don't want this to be light opacity so I'm gonna just put around 10 or maybe I just put it 1 let's see what it gave us render layer I will keep this into 2 for now until you know what you are doing and then I'm gonna change the salt to true, the straight time. I'm gonna leave this to one. All right, this is the basic custom. I'm gonna put a comment here. All right, I think it's basically done. Everything is done. We just have to copy our texture using the file manager. There you go. Just gonna tap and hold and type in copy just gonna copy it to where everything is gonna go to internal storage gonna go to scroll down games horizon this is where all your horizon files will be I'm gonna open it in packs inner core and find inner core again there we go inner core and then find mods here it is our mod is more block go to assets go to terrain atlas and then click done now that our file is here I'm gonna rename it so it should be named exactly like this lucky underscore block underscore zero so this is important you have to put underscore zero in the end for it to work otherwise your texture will not be registered into the game I'm gonna rename it now it's everything should be done let's go into horizon and see if this works I have just opened my horizon I'm gonna open it in the mods manager and then open up my mods the custom block should be there this one now if I have 
enable this one as well it will be broken because i have the same id gonna disable that one so yeah let's get back and then type in play all right guys that's all i got time for today thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one and by the way if you guys don't know already i'm starting a new series on survival let's play it's called bedrock inside you should totally check it out links will be down in the description i'll see you there